We're here at Maya Cinemas with Sevak Hakoyan. He is a cast member of the movie Aram Aram. Welcome to the program, Sevak. Thank you, Sevak. Sevak, Sevak. Sevak, Sevak, Adash. So, so w- welcome. I mean, is this your first time in Fresno? Yes, it is my first time in Fresno. What do you think of our beloved town? I love it. I love it. It's a beautiful city. It's very chill, very calm, and uh, I just love the history. You know, a lot Armenians. of history. Yes. A lot of history in this town. William Soroyan and a lot of Armenians. Soromon Telerian. Soromon Telerian. Had a chance, well. you know, to go to, uh, the, to the cemetery, to the monument. So it feels good to be here. So I was watching the trailer, and you, are you the bad guy? Are you the kind of tough thug guy? See, that's that's <laughs> the good part of this because nobody ever recognizes me off screen. So yeah, yeah I am that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but you look like a nice guy. So how did you play that part? I am a nice guy. It took some preparation with Chris, of course, with his help. It took some time. I had some time basically before shooting to prepare for the role. And most of the external features, like my clothing, the way I was dressed, influenced the character. Very much so, saggy yes. pants, yes, you know? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it was my life for like three months. So when preparing for a role like that, because obviously that's not you in real life, I could tell by the way yeah. you're dressed and you carry yourself, how do you practice for something like that? Um, you have to, as an actor, you have to trust your intuition. So when I put on those clothes, I have tried a few hoodies until I found mine and I felt as, you know, one with that. And then you allow it to influence and you follow your intuition. If, if you feel like this character would act in this way, let, let that simmer, let, let that be part of you and, you know, and use that. And then the rest of it is research and then getting as much information as you can and understanding most of all like who your character is and what is what is what is his goal throughout the film. So so for people who are shy when it comes down to it as we're we're on the red carpet so there's a lot of traffic yes. going on for the audience members listening on radio and for those watching you can see there's a lot of activities going on over here but so people there are some people who are shy or they'll look at themselves in the camera and criticize themselves mm-hmm. are you that way because you seem like a pretty confident guy uh, I will definitely not watch the film today <laughs> now here's why uh, with me it's the very first time when I watch the result that's on the only time that I do not judge myself I will say, oh, it's a good film. But then after that, I can never watch it again because I, you know, I'm very critical. So why would people watch this film? I mean, you know, here we are in Fresno, California. Yeah. The movie is Aram Aram. Yes. It's, you know, a lot of emphasis on Armenian characters. Uh-huh. The actors are Armenian. The director is not. But yes. why should non-Armenians watch this film? It is. It has a universal message, and we have been we have been to festivals to Armenia. We've been to festivals to uh, LA Film Festival where we opened, and we just came back from Montreal, and we had crowds that were not Armenian, and everybody had the same response at the end of the movie. They came out with tears in their eyes, and they spoke to us also like a woman. This one particular time, a woman from Spain came and talked to us at the end and told us how. He, she enjoyed it and she enjoyed watching it with you know her kids and she thought that all the kids should watch it. What's the message in the film? Uh, Any message? Many. I bet you there's yeah. a ton of messages. There's but, a ton of messages. But what, what's the takeaway from this film? Making right decisions in your life. And I try to portray my character as honest as possible, but then, you know, there's never a villain. There's a person that has made bad decisions in his life. So there's the message. So. Fresno, will you come back here at all? Most, def- <laughs> most definitely. I wish I can stay longer, but I will definitely come back again because I want to explore more the history of the city and my Armenians. So, definitely. So, what's next for you? Aram Aram is done. Now you're uh-huh. promoting. So, uh-huh. what's next? Um, I just became, um, now I have a manager, so, and I, she sent me out to a few auditions. We'll go from there, uh, but this film was a great push for me to become uh, more known in the community. I've done more comedy programs. I do mostly comedy Wait, now. wait, wait. So yes. co- you're a bad guy in Aram Aram and yes. then you flip the comedy and other things. That's a good actor right there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's. I was telling today uh, to the kids in uh, Roosevelt School, it all comes down, the, whether you do comedy or drama, it all comes down to being grounded as, as, and as real as possible. So how can our audience members find out more about you? How can they Facebook and all that stuff? Uh, Seva Kakoyan, I have a Facebook account, I have a YouTube account. If you want, you can also follow facebook.com slash Aram Aram Film and just you can find me there. Excellent. Thank you so much for Thank coming you, here with this film. Good luck to you in the Thank future. Thank you very much.